This is Jason Woodell with Prospects1500.com. I'm sitting here with Max Pentecost. How's the injury going? How's the rehab going? Uh, it was it was good and quick. You know, once we got the, the inflammation down, it was just getting back into it from there, and we were ready to go tomorrow. Um, can you let the fans know a little bit about like how you got hurt and the process back? This recent time or the, the sh previous shoulder surgeries? The shoulder surgeries in this previous time. Uh, the shoulder surgeries, it was just... It's just something that didn't feel right, and we couldn't really put a finger on it. Um, so eventually we were able to find there's a small tear right around the bicep, the rotator cuff interval, which it keeps the bicep tendon from popping in and out of the groove. And with that being torn, my bicep tendon was just getting so inflamed, popping in and out of that groove. We were able to get that fixed, and then you know after three surgeries, just, it takes a little while to get the, get the rest out. Yeah. So that's pretty much what we've just been dealing with. Um, well, I don't think you've been too rusty this year. You were raking before for this latest setback. <laughs> it was, there was a couple up and downs, but you know, it was, it was good to get back into a groove. Um, I was able to really work on some stuff this off season, whereas just, instead of just going into games and just trying to get bats, I was able to really put some stuff together. Um, and then, you know, getting back behind the plate felt great. Um, that was like riding a bike kind of, but yeah. <laughs> still a little rusty. But. Now, is the Blue Jays' long-term plan for you to stay at catcher? Or I are they looking I, to... Uh, I haven't really... The, from what I, I've understood through what we've talked about, yes. Um, but they don't want to just throw me back in there and then possibly something else come up. You know, like just like my back this previous time. It's just probably taking three, two or two years off. Yeah. Um, coming back into it, you know, probably just put a little bit of pressure on it. And now I know that I got to keep an eye on that and make sure it doesn't get out of hand again. So, as a first round pick going into an organization, can you describe some of the pressures that you may have felt or the adjustments that it took coming from college ball? The adjustments, first off, I noticed as soon as I got to Vancouver that you're going to see. How do I put it? Best thing to say is, you know, they just have better stuff. You gotta, you gotta pick your pick your pitch, stay with it, and don't miss it. <laughs> yeah, that's the best thing. But um, I really, I noticed when I got to Vancouver that I was gonna have to really change some stuff. You know, really focus, kind of progress as I go. I, I mean, I came from Kennesaw State. We didn't face, we faced some good pitchers, but nothing consistent like we face, you know, professional ball. So. It took a little getting used to. And what sort of adjustments did you have to make? Mainly, mainly just staying short. <clears throat> staying short um, and attacking the fastball. <laughs> hit the fastball. Yeah. Easiest way to hit curveballs, hit the fastball. So I like it. I learned that. Had to learn that pretty quick. The hard way. <laughs> I like it. When can fans expect you back in the lineup? I'll be back tomorrow. OK. Yeah. Are you going to do any games at the uh, with GCL, or are you I coming back today. here? Oh, you did today? How'd you do today? Did well. You know, I was comfortable catching. Um, saw the ball pretty well hitting, so hopefully I can pick up where I left off. <laughs> yeah. Any scouting report for the fans on this year's first-round pick, Lord Logan Warmoth? Great dude. Uh, yeah. That, you know, he was a great guy to talk with, be around, really swing it. I didn't get to see him play defense any, but um, – Saw him a couple of live BPs in the game today, and you know, he can swing it. So I'm sure I'm sure he's fine defensively. <laughs> Did you play any sports other than baseball growing up? I played a little bit of football. Uh, I started off. I played bas basketball when I was, my gosh, probably 10, 11. I, it was okay. I didn't like dribble in my left hand, so I knew that <laughs> that wasn't gonna work out quick. But played football a little bit through middle school, um, into my freshman and sophomore year of high school, and then you know, that was when I really. I noticed that baseball was going to be my thing. And um, it was tough letting football go because I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. But I knew that the possible consequences of playing that as a, I mean, I still injured myself playing baseball. But, yeah. um, there could be, it's a little more difficult. You know, so I decided to stick with baseball and put my, put all I had into it. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, you heard it from Max Pentecost. He's coming back tomorrow, played in the Gulf Coast League today. Thanks a lot, Max, and good luck to you the rest of the season. Thank you.